Abstinence has gotten a bad rap over the past few years. Society has made it so that students have to choose to be completely abstinent or not be abstinent at all. However, students are choosing to define absence in their own way, so let's go find out what they're saying. So, how do you define abstinence? Basically respecting yourself uh -huh. and not trying to give away what you have secret to you. Choosing to hold off on having sex or mm -hmm. any kind of um, sexual relations with another person until you're married or until you found someone that you're going to be committed to for a very long time. Okay, I define abstinence as abstaining from anything for a distinct amount of time. Um, so that means that you can have partaken in any type of activity or attitudes in the past, but then you set aside a time that you decide not to do them. Why do you think people choose to be abstinent? Um, I think it's often like a personal choice. Social reasons that they feel like it's promiscuous or society doesn't uh -huh. believe in it. I think it's a lot more complicated than we think. I think a lot of it is like a moral thing. And, but at the same time, part of the moral thing is some people are doing it just because of what they've been told and they've been just being, being good at obeying that. But people have, through themselves, they really do want to not partake in that. Physically, do you define abstinence, you know, abstaining from all kinds of sex or just a few forms of sex, like oral sex, male sex? I think it would be smarter to put it off of all types of sex. I don't know, I guess I never really thought about it that much. Mm -hmm. I guess. I guess intercourse would like seem like oh, yes. what abstinence is. <laughs> if someone is in an emotional relationship, do they have to be sexually active? They don't have to. Mm -hmm. I think I think it's healthy though. Okay. I think that if you're in a relationship, you can trust and you trust somebody mm -hmm. enough that way. I think that that's okay. Our society is kind of like a dichotomy. It's like you're supposed to be abstinent, and like it's a bad thing to be, at least for women, to be really sexually active. But then on the other hand. You're supposed to be like all experienced and stuff. You're supposed to have this some kind of like sexual knowledge by the time you get married. You get to the point where no one has really learned the proper ways to go about having sexual activities and, and communicating about them. So then people want to engage in them and they haven't learned the facts 